Hello. My name is Paul Alexander. But they call me the man of the iron lung. Hey, Paul. 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 He relies on his longtime caretaker to do just about anything that he can't do with his own mouth. By breathing out of the armor, it's voluntary. I have to think about it and work at it so I get tired. Well, I started feeling like he all played. I ran inside to get mom. And she turned and looked at me, and she said, Oh my God, not my son. Over the next five days, I lost everything. The ability to move, my legs would not hold me up, and then I couldn't breathe. I cannot move, period. Well, a lot of humanity does nothing about polio, even though what it is. Parents were so afraid of the mysterious, deadly disease that they kept their children from playing with others. Pools, theaters, camps, even schools shut down. He was at home under the care of his mom and dad, and they realized he wasn't breathing. They rushed him to the hospital, and the emergency room physician examined him and pronounced him dead. Sometime later, another doctor came to me. He picked me up, according to my mother, and ran upstairs on the beach, performed a tracheotomy and put me in the iron lung. I didn't want to die, so I continued to fight. People didn't like me very much back then. I felt like they were uncomfortable around me. What did you do all that? All the same thing everybody else does. I woke up, brushed my teeth, brushed my face, shaved, had some breakfast. Well, I just needed a little bit of help. Too. Then what would you do all that? Well, I would read or study something. If I had a picture, I'd do some drawing. I hated just watching TV. Paul spends almost every moment of his day in an iron lung, which is the only thing that's keeping him alive. That's because he's paralyzed from the neck down, so without it, he can't breathe. But I never gave up, and I'm not going to. I did not get into college. They said that I was too crippled. They did not have the vaccination. Two years of tormenting them to that. They accepted me on two conditions. One, I take the polio vaccine. The three men of fraternity would be responsible for me. Finally, something good happened. I wanted to be a lawyer for a long time. And I was a pretty damn good one, too.
So why write a book? To inspire thousands of people, just like you. No matter where you're from, or what your past is, or the challenges that you could be facing. You can truly do anything. You just got to set your mind to it. But work hard. Paul, what's your dream? Do not let polio defeat me, but to defeat polio. Therefore, I wanted to accomplish the things I was told I couldn't accomplish. And to achieve the dreams I dreamed. My story is an example of why your past or even disability does not have to define your future.